this is awful. Hey, what's up? Do rag discussions with Samel, rag Christian guy. I got some places to go, people to see. So I actually can't have my do rag on. Because I need my hair flourishing. But yo, we are about to talk about the Amber Geiger um, trial. Um, both on Jean, um, the young man that was killed and his brother and the Houston judge or whoever. And this video has been brought to you by Faith in Humanity with my mustard seed necklace. So check out the description box below. And yo, let's get into this thing for real. So if you don't know Amber Geiger, she is a Houston, Texas uh, former police officer and she killed Botham John um, in his home. Um, her story was that she mistakenly went into the wrong housing complex, not like um, like the wrong apartment, rather. Um, they were neighbors, but I think Take the next left on she the lived on like the fifth or seventh floor, and he lived on the third or fifth floor. And the story was just weird um, that she was coming home and she went to the wrong apartment thought that it was her apartment and when she opened the door she thought he was an intruder and shot him dead right and so one of the biggest um like not pitfalls but plot holes there we go of the story is like yo if this wasn't your apartment and you thought this was an intruder how did you get in right and so um the um trial went on um she did not get manslaughter she got charged with murder and got sentenced for 10 years out of her uh, potential of having 90 years in jail right? so a lot of people are up in arms about the sentencing but the portion that we're going to talk about is the christian and faith portion because that's all i care about and um we see both of jean's um brother saying to her um after the sentencing a very very mature um declaration to her of like hey um i forgive you god is able to forgive you um you need to give your life to christ right so really talking about the weight of like her soul in eternity um to her and he ends it with asking the judge if um he can hug her right and that he loves her and he doesn't even want um her to go to jail and people are up in arms with this but also um the second portion being like the judge giving her a hug as well and um she murdered this guy's brother hey yo so i want to tackle this from many angles most importantly it's going to be the christian angle um but yo the first off we're going to start with just like the world angle right justice um <laughs> it's, it's going to sound weird but it's pretty relative right and so people are like yes finally a black man that's unarmed that's killed and the yeah, person's going to jail for killing him so certain people right. think it's a win other people are like how does she not get um 90 years um so this is not a win like how do you um kill someone and not get a life sentence so this is a thing i don't think people understand what a life sentence is i always thought a life sentence is like yo you're not getting out but apparently a life sentence is actually um 20 years or whatever so that and i think personally i think it's a win because she didn't get manslaughter she killed this man or whatever but um justice is relative but if we're bringing it spiritually right ultimate justice is with the lord right and so that's um romans 12. and so i don't i'm not shocked um that the justice system certain people think they failed but i was like yo these are humans like i don't i don't really care i'm not my justice isn't distributed by man it's just distributed by the lord so Yo, Turn right on heaven and hell, 
it's that final sentence. So that's why his bro, um, both and Jean's um, brother really speaks to me because he's like, yo, you need to receive Christ because that's that old, that's that ultimate judgment, heaven and hell for eternity, right? And so from there, we're going to the legitimately like Christian issue that I'm having here. And it's that, yo, people are upset that she hugged him. So, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, both of them, he hugged her, whatever uh, pronoun you want to use. But I'm like, he's literally living out what Jesus teaches us, right? And so, you know, the world can be mad. I don't really care about the world. And this is one thing I love about Christianity and it says it in John 3, the light has come into the world. Um, the darkness hates the light and cannot um, overcome it, but cannot understand it, cannot comprehend it, right? And even in the New Testament, it says that spiritual line, things, spiritual things look like foolishness to those um, who are natural and those who are perishing. And it says like spiritual things, um, cannot even be perceived with the natural mind. And so I love Christianity and I love Donald Trump right now. I love um, Kanye West because they are bringing out people's Christian hate. I wanna know this. I wanna know uh, because I use Donald Trump as an example because like if people are like secretly um, racist or whatever, Donald Trump, like with his freedom and being so prejudiced and racist and saying crazy things, he allowed freedom and other people to say wild things. So there's no more like secret racism. Like, oh, this is what you believe in. And I like that. Continue and I like that with um, Kanye West as well, because people, um, because he's making this um, Jesus is King album. And I know I'm not gonna talk about the Kanye West because this is not really about him, but a lot of people are angry talking about oh y'all still serving that white man's religion i love it so, uh, saying oh um y'all still brainwashing people with um this jesus that did not exist i love it give me all the smoke give me all the christian hate because people move so um secretively right and um Christians are of this mentality that you have to be real implicit. Um, you have to be real secretive um, with your faith and you're gonna win souls. But sin and the world, they're very explicit with how they approach us and their nonsense, right? And so, yo, give me all the Christian hate as possible. Cause I wanna know what your heart is. Like a lot of people aren't in tune with like discernment of spirits. So make this as plain as possible and so with this you see a lot of people's hate in their heart within the church and that's why i want to talk about the christian attitude towards this because it's crazy that um people are like yo that couldn't be me do you believe the gospel do you believe the word of god or not right because in the gospels it says um love those who hate you um, do wrong right to those who deceitfully use you and do wrong to you, right? And Romans 12, yep, Romans 12 says this really explicitly, right? And says, um, do go, do good to those who do wrong to you, who kill you, right? Um, because you're heaping hot coals upon them, and justice is the Lord, right? And so I'm so annoyed with Christian celebrities or just regular Christians in comment sections sharing the video. I love that the video is going viral because his love convicted the crap out of me, right? And um, this is what I'm saying is like, man, this person is loving someone who is a murderer and killed his brother. And I'm not liking people that talk ill of me, right? And I'm holding stuff against them. And I'm just like, man, that's that double-edged sword that's talked about in the book of James, right? Um, the word of God. And he's leaving me without an excuse because 
a lot of people want to be like, oh, that's Jesus. He's able to forgive. I'm not God or whatever. This man isn't God. And the type of Christianity in Jesus that he has, it has me looking really bad with like my own sin, my own flesh, my own unforgiveness, right? And so we have to be challenged. And that's why the word of God is called a double-edged sword, able to separate bone from marrow, the heart of man from uh, his soul and his spirit. And so when I look at this man, and the way he lives out the Christianity that is taught about in the Bible, I am challenged. And I should be challenged. I should be convicted for my sin, my flesh, and all the areas that where I'm not Christ-like. But this is why I'm not liking what Christians are doing or celebrities, Christian celebrities are doing because they're like, this can't be me. Um, there's a difference between forgiving somebody and um, being stupid or whatever. But what is that that you're saying? You're saying you look stupid in your natural mind. But when you measure it against spiritual things, these are two, like, again, the scripture needs to be the most important thing in our lives. It should dictate how we forgive, how we live, how we view justice. And that's what grace, man, grace uh, is so in abundance when it comes to our sin, but so finite and lack in a poverty mindset when it comes to sins that we don't like at other people, right? And it's like, no, sin is equal, right? If I kill somebody, if I lie, they both will send me to hell if it's not by by the blood of Jesus Christ and so if I want to withhold grace for others I am withholding grace for myself because where is it I think it's in the book of Matthew it says as you will not forgive others your father in heaven will not forgive you and so this is why I really am annoyed with Christians out here I'm um, saying this craziness like how dare you hug this person that just killed your family? You look dumb because you're teaching people a Christianity that Jesus is not teaching us, right? And so I love that what he did challenges me because I have to look at my life and be like, man, I'm unforgiving. And um, he, he's showing me Jesus right now. Um, but Christian comment sections um, because the world's gonna say what the world's gonna say right um, if they're unforgiving they're unforgiving it says um, they have already been judged by the law and by the world but we as Christians we're under grace and so if the Bible says as I do not forgive others my father in heaven will not forgive me bro I'm putting my own self at risk <laughs> um, because it says if you have broken one part of the law any part right um you have broken the whole law and so if i am like i've never killed nobody um the lord can't judge me on that but actually the bible says because you lie and because you're holding someone else to a standard of forgiveness that you're not holding yourself to you're actually holding yourself to that because when you um, break one part of the law, you broke the whole law. So, um, her murderer is equivalent to your lying. And so, it's going to be judged um, the same. And so, if I want to be forgiven of my lying, if I want to be forgiven of my sex outside of marriage, if I want to be forgiven of my stealing, I need to forgive her of her murder because I'm going to be ultimately judged by her murder as my murder right and so the bible flips everything um how we look at justice as at how we look at sin how we look at sinful i mean not sinfulness forgiveness and so that's gonna mess us up um it's gonna mess up our natural mind it's gonna um, mess up our natural inclinations. It's gonna mess up everything, right? And even where it says in same same passage of scripture, Romans 12, that vengeance is the Lord. Like, 
do we really believe the parts of the Bible that says give give yourself over? These people are going to kill you and persecute you. And people are like, no, that's never going to be me. If I was up in that courtroom, they have to pat me down because I would kill her. Or um, if I was hugging her, I would strangle her. Like, do we believe vengeance is the Lord where the verses say give yourself over to the slaughter, right? And so this is seen in Isaiah 53. Where it says, Jesus gave himself over as a lamb to the slaughter, saying nothing. And it's like, man, Jesus, I don't know if I have enough spirituality in me to be like you. But you don't even need to be like Jesus. We have a man here living it out. So it's like, man, if I can't um, be like Jesus, this man in Houston is giving me a problem because he's living out something I said is not humanly obtainable, right? And so a lot of people are also upset with the um, judge and um, her crying and her hugging her or whatever. I need y'all to understand something. The South is the Bible Belt. Like, we are very Christian down here. I'm not saying everybody lives it out. I know certain people will be faking Christianity and Christianity is just being something cultural and not really something um, lived out all the time. But there are certain like principles that are inherently Christian. And so if you just have like a little background or whatever, um, the odds are if you live in Texas, Christian. Hey, sorry about that, but we're back. But yo, they're mad that um, basically like this, woman like show compassion as a judge to this murder but it's very likely like she was christian as well even the fact that um she gave her a bible and bruh it, i think you have to be pretty heartless that video of him saying what he said um to amber geiger um after she murdered his brother is a powerful video like you gotta be pretty heartless to not like like, I was getting emotional. I almost cried watching that. I was like, man, this is powerful. It is Holy Spirit filled. This is the heart and love of God, grace and favor, all in that, anointed, all up in there. And so, for you to be mad, you have to be carnally minded. You can't um, be like Christ centered or spiritual. Uh, even on that level of maturity, I'm just like, man, oh. That is something powerful. And so for you to be so cold-hearted, um, to literally see a manifestation of the grace and glory of God towards us. We are murderers. Like, for, nobody wants to say this, but we, it's like, I forgot that verse in the Bible. Thank you, Jesus and the Holy Spirit for bringing that verse in, uh, to my remembrance. It says, those who have said to their brother, you, are, you fool, or have hated, um, your brother in your heart you have committed murder and so for us to have such I guess like a binary um, to be um, I don't know not like nuanced or as sophisticated as this young man right um, his brother both and Jean was active in the church right and so this is a family man it's better than me <laughs> I'm going to wait until I get out the dark or whatever. We're going through a tunnel right now. But, man, I was even thinking, like, this is, I know it's at a time where a lot of, like, black men are being killed um, wrongfully, being unarmed or whatever. But I really think, like, me and both of them, were almost like the same person. Because I really thought, man, like, yo, if, like, me, I don't have no um, criminal record. I don't have, like drugs like there's nothing on me besides like going to church <laughs> or whatever and so i was like man if you see like a person like me basically like be martyred um you have to be like man there there really are like corrupt cops or whatever but he he got killed like both of them jean was me <laughs> or whatever and so i was like man people would change but they didn't right and um and that's the thing right 
Ephesians 6, we don't war with spiritual things, but um, principalities, rulers, and um, darknesses, and high places, spiritual things. And so, to be so unforgiving um, to this woman um, just shows how you do not comprehend spiritual things, right? And, man, this young man, his both of them John's brother, and Amber Geiger, challenges my Christianity and they're supposed to. I am not being Christ-like if I don't have the capacity of forgiveness and grace that this young man has because he is exemplifying Jesus Christ. Or even like Stephen from the Bible, he is getting martyred and killed, like stoned to death. And he prays, um, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do right the same prayer that jesus prayed when he was dying and it's like man over and over again i am looking at people um who exemplify something that i'm not and so i think that's one of the biggest things why um this or i know i'm really harping on the bad but this video man a lot of people i've seen comments are like man this video is so powerful Oh, that's a little loud. Um, this video is so powerful because it's really showing us what we're not. That love of Christ, um, it says where sin abounds, grace abounds the more. Like, sin has to be, a, well, it doesn't have to be a lot. But, yo, if you want grace to really, like, show itself powerful and full, there has to be sin <laughs> adequate enough or worthy enough uh, for that love. I know, like, there, again, there's no like sin hierarchy, but to really show like, man, grace is like a powerful thing, uh, able to do things that we are not ourselves capable of. Man, like, this reminds me, God is not a man. Um, our judgment, um, how we perceive things, how we would do things, he doesn't do that or whatever. And so this is a beautiful, video in of the love of God West, take exit it is a Street, beautiful Street. it's a beautiful show of his grace and ability to um, forgive anything and I don't think um, we live like do we do you believe the scriptures or not do you believe God or not that he forgives of everything because right now you're showing um, yourself to have conditional love you don't love unconditionally and um, you show yourself to be very judgmental right because you're like nope she's worthy of death death penalty 90 years in jail but this man is saying grace forgiveness mercy that's what the book of James says mercy rejoices against judgment you are judging this woman I'm not saying like yeah hold her responsible but Again, ultimately, where his judgment is coming from is the Lord. She's going to be judged ultimately. So that's why he said, yo, give your life to Christ. Because he knows this. Um, eternal dam damnation is nothing to play with. Right? And so, um, we have that. But the last point, man, it was a good point I wanted to make. And I can't remember it. Judgment, forgiveness, grace, mercy. Um, it has left me entirely Christian celebrities uh, glory be to God I am I that thing slipped all the way out if I am judged if I'm judging I will also be judged that way warring with spiritual things bro this thing is gone <laughs> Do, oh, there we go. We almost got it. Do we believe the scriptures? Boom! There we go. I got it! Um, bro, Christianity cannot be an accessory, right? We have to live these things out for real. Like, we want these teachings of Jesus just to be like motivational speaking. Like, cute little quotes or whatever. But not actually live it out. The book of James says your faith needs to be tried by fire so that it's that you know is true and it says that in the book of romans also romans 5 or however persecution 
um, yields like ju not judgment, <laughs> um, patience and patience, experience and experience like the love and grace of God. And so Christianity just seems like just this little accessory to your life, but you still look at things the way you're going to look at it. You still judge the way you're going to judge. You still move and behave the way that you are going to move. But the Bible says otherwise. This is not something that you just add to you, your own understanding or whatever. It says like his ways are not In our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So, man, having such a, a human Christianity, having such a natural godliness that is so low so low hanging fruit awful are we going to live the scriptures or not do we believe god or not is jesus capable of ruling over us or not like let me know because what i'm seeing online in these comment sections in these captions is a christianity i don't see in the bible biblical christianity ruins everything you think about everything it ruins the way you will live because you're not supposed to look like you you're supposed to look like jesus right, the right two lanes and so right onto that's my um, biggest thing those are my thoughts on um her going to jail the justice system jesus being our ultimate justice a quarter mile. Or right onto Street, but Northeast. um let me hear from you um, I'm doing my sign off um, your thoughts on this young man bro watch the video it's a beautiful video um, remember that um, these videos are more intermittent whenever like things come up regular teaching videos are on um, Wednesdays and Thursdays um, so make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notifications as well um, yo, actively be praying for Amber Geiger, both on Jean and his brother and his family, like for real. Um, and uh, remember, like, oh man, this life is so much more than what we do on social media. It's about living this stuff out, just like his brother did. Thank you, the Jean family, for convicting me of my life. And so, remember that God blesses people by using people to bless other people. So how have you been a blessing to someone else today? Thanks for watching. Introduce your White horse cracked the sky, he gon' be upon it. Yeah. Uh, salvation provided for whoever won it. Yeah. I like my bread on uh, leaven, put no fluff upon it. I would no longer put no reverend over God.